Hi, welcome back to Titan Academy. Today I'm going to show you how you can validate your fields for your folds. Let's check it out. So for this example, I've created a form which creates a contact once I submit it in my submit button. Now, notice how each field here is mandatory, except the last field is not an actual field within Salesforce, but I still want to include that in my project which means that if I choose to fill out my first name, last name, and email, and I choose to exclude that, I can still submit my form, which means my contact will get created regardless of this last field. So how can I include this field to be a part of my form? Let me show you. So as you can see here in my project, I've got a form, and I've got all my fields inside our form. And I've also got this submit button. So the first thing you need to understand is when you bring in a form, you'll get your own submit button. You don't wanna use that button. You would rather use a custom button like I have here. So that's the first thing you need to do. Second thing you need to do is set a parameter. So I'm gonna set a parameter in my page. So click on the page settings and configure actions. And here you can see in parameters, you can see static. And here's my parameter, form validation. So click apply. And now for the next step. So we're gonna execute all of the validation action through this submit button. So click on the button, click on the gear icon, go to enter activity, configure on click action, and now you can see I've got about three actions. So the first action is to configure the parameters. So we'll click on configure action. And here in system actions, we need to enable interactivity. So enable that and click the gear icon next to it. And now we need to choose form. So click on form and enable, of course. And now you need to choose your element. So I only got one element. It's called my form. So Choose that one. And you also need to select validate fields. Now, what you do is, is in your form, you've got all your fields. And if something uh, is not validated, it will send a value to the parameter. As you can see here, here's my parameter, my page parameter for validation. So this is very important because this is the actual validation. So Let's just apply and apply, and I'll show you the parameters. So now, in the second action, I've got the parameter here in action. Because what I'm doing is, I've set a condition to state that if the parameter, the validation form validation parameter, is not empty, then show me a message. So this message, oops. So this message, is an error message since my parameter got uh, populated with the value of the field. So this is my error message. So that's that. And now for the success message, I've set also a condition that if my parameter form validation is empty, then you can either push to Salesforce. In my case, I've just sent a message here. So your contact has been added successfully. So hypothetically, my contact has been pushed into Salesforce. So click apply and apply. And now save. And let's preview this for a minute and see how it works. So let's try and let's try and create an error message. So let's just fill in the form real quick. And we don't want to select this uh, field in order to trigger the error. Now, before we do that, I want to show you the debug mode. And here you can see my form validation parameter is empty. So when I click submit, my form validation will be populated with the missing field. So let me just do that. So click submit. And here's my error message. Check the debug. And as you can see, it's populated with the missing field. 
So what happens if I select this as well? Click Submit, success message. And that's how it's done.